Hi, welcome everyone. I believe most of the websites have their own copyright notice in the footer if you notice, right? Like these websites. Carsense.my, scroll down. There's a copyright notice here in the footer. Or this one. Dolphinsclayclubs.com It's a nice site created with Bootstrap 3 and Drupal 7. It's using super size for the background slideshow and also this using our carousel, right? There's also a footer notice down below here in the footer. So let's back to our site. If we scroll down, I've created a custom block for the copyright in the footer here. Now this year is a normal text that I type in the body field. Let's check it out. Now, have you ever wondered how to automatically update this filter copyright year in Drupal so that you don't need to update it manually every year? Now, there are different ways you can do. You can write the PHP code in the content body, but it's strongly not recommended for security issue. Of course, you can write the PHP code directly to the template file. It's more secure, but it's difficult to maintain especially for the client if they were to update the copyright notice themselves. Now there's an easier way to do it. There's to use the token with token filter module. So for this year tags, we'll replace it with token so that it will always output the current year. Let's install the token filter module now. Let's go to module page. Now it says we can use a token like this. So let's install the module first. Scroll down. Copy the link. Back to our site, go to modules, install new module, paste the link here, install. Now this module is dependent on token module. Before we turn it on, we need to install the token module as well. So let's install this module. Scroll down, copy the link, back to our Drupal site, install another module. Paste a link here, install. So let's enable the module. Let's search for token. Turn on both token and token filter module. Save configuration. Now we need to turn on the filter for the token. Let's go to text formats. Let's copy. Text. Configure for full HTML. Scroll down. Now we need to turn this on. Replace tokens. All right? Scroll down. Save configuration. Now let's go to edit the block. Scroll down. Configure block. Scroll down. There's some more information about text formats link at the bottom right corner here. So let's click on this link and you will open the page in the new tab. There are some tips here for the text format under full HTML. Now there are some global tokens you can use here. You have tokens for the column date, column page, tokens for column page like the page title. Alright, you can go through all this and get what you want for yourself. Now under column date, there are many formats we can use for the date. Since we need a token to show the year, we're going to use the custom format using this custom token. You can check out the documentation here. I click open a new tab. Now there are a lot of formats here you can use. Scroll down. We are going to use this Y in capital letter to show the year. So back to our token site. Let's copy this token back to our footer block. Now we're going to replace this with the token. Let's fill that this. Now always remember to filter the text when you copy the token over. Somehow it comes with the inline CSS styles together. So we replace this question mark with capital letter Y to display the year. Check the source. 
Yep, it's clean. Close it. Now what about the site name? Lolum Design for this site. Let's replace this name with the site name token. Back to this page. Site information. Scroll down. Let's copy this one. Site name token. Let's copy. Back to our Drupal site. Let's replace this with this token. Good. Scroll down. Save the block. Scroll down. Great. So we have year as well as demo. If your site is called Lolum Design, for example, like just now, what I have typed, you can actually change this in the site information. Now I will change it here. I will call Lolum Design. Scroll down. Save it. Scroll down. Let's create the display correctly. So now we learn how to use token for copyright notice in the footer. That's all for this tutorial. Now remember to subscribe to our channel for more sharing to come.